I support a constitutional amendment, and the reason why I'm saying I support a constitutional amendment, I want government out of education. It belongs in the hands of local control. The state is responsible under the Constitution to uh, pay for help, you know, pay for education. But all the extras and everything that goes around the state, that's the local, the people of that town and city's responsibility. If we want extras in the school, then they vote to pay for them. Uh, we've got to get a handle on this. The money should follow the child in the, in the school, uh, in every school. We, got, we must take care of the special needs, uh, the issues that are going on in our state. And it's not just here in Londonderry, it's everywhere. Um, I think on the education funding um, should be fair across the board. Londonderry did the right thing when we took NH Cafe, when we went to court, because the town of Londonderry was got, you know, uh, the back end of the stick on this here. And if you take a look at what's going on now with the Gatsis farm, Londonderry lost $1.7 million. Derry lost $7.2 million. We must fix this where it's fair across the board. My personal opinion is, um, and it's a big problem, and it's an ongoing problem. It's been going on for a long time. I think, I think it's time to consider a statewide sales tax. That tax would have to be earmarked specifically for education to cities and towns to help the school districts to give us some property tax relief. And it would have to be earmarked for education, not, uh, not the football team, not the band, but actually the, the nuts and bolts of the, keeping the building afloat and paying for the staff for education. I think the main thing that we have to do on the uh, education funding issue is, I, I believe it was three years ago, a formula was passed that is completely detrimental to Londonderry and Auburn and some of the other towns in this area. What we have to do is go back, take a look at that formula, come up with a formula that is going to be fair to every community, not just communities of Manchester and Nashua. And this current formula is also going to create a number of donor towns, and that's unacceptable. So the first thing we have to do is to redo the formula so that every town and every city gets treated fairly and every child gets treated fairly. The issue of education is one of my biggest priorities. My mother was a teacher, my wife is a teacher. I plan on having children and, and I look at what we need to do for, to improve their education and make sure they have opportunities for a good future. The current decrease in education funding in Londonderry, approximately $1.7 million, is extremely dramatic. It is going to hurt our children exponentially. We need to change that. We, I do not support the current funding model. I do want to look at it while up in Concord uh, and work with both Democrats and Republicans to find out how we can make sure our schools and our children do not suffer. Ex ex specifically how, I'm not 100% sure. But I intend to look at every possibility when up in Concord. And I will make sure that the, the education of our children is a top priority. I think they should hold the line in another words. We had a bill last year um, to hold all the, the um, cities and towns harmless. And that means so that they'd at least get as much money as they got the year before and have gotten in the past. And the bill was defeated, but I think that we, once we've made the promise and made the commitment that we have to at least fund what we have in the past. I also think that the, um, the funding should be based on a per pupil um, situation and not with all the crazy formulas that we come up with so that uh, cities or towns that have uh, uh, poorer students or uh, students that speak uh, English as a second language should get more money. It should be just a child is entitled to so much money for their education. And uh, I think if we can hold that and not cut anything, we'll be doing really well. This is a real uh, messy issue uh, ever since the courts got involved because uh, again, as I, as I said in my opening remarks, the rules keep changing for the communities. The money we spend per, per child is eight to $9,000 uh, uh, with, with no guaranteed outcome of any result. It's, I, I think what we probably, 
would need to look at if it's a possibility if we could. We have X number of students and, and uh, X number of dollars. We should uh, just assign, uh, uh, the money should follow the student in my opinion. So Londonderry at the end of the, of the school year submits to the state, I have a thousand students and whatever we determine the uh, cost of a, a, an education to be, uh, multiply it by the, the dollars times the number of students and that's the check that should be given to, to the students. I think we ought to eliminate all this uh, buying lunches and breakfasts and babysitting and all the other things that really have nothing to do with, uh, with the education. Leave that to the control of the parents and let the towns just stick to the issue of education. Well, we've got to go back and look at that, the formula. The formula is not right for adequate education. Uh, it's funding a great deal of things it, it shouldn't be funding, and it's, uh, it's uh, going to be decreasing Londonderry uh, significantly if we don't do something fast. Uh, particularly, we have the, our catastrophic aid, our uh, uh, handicapped students, and also our uh, learning disability kids. And that money comes to the town only once a year, usually January 1st. So that's going to be the first line of attack that I'm going to do, filing a bill uh, that asks us to uh, reinstate those things that were cut out in the last minute of the last session. Uh, the second thing, of course, is to, uh, right now, uh, we do have, um, it's uh, a collar program, which allows for any losses to uh, be mediated and so none of the towns experience a decrease in their funding for an additional year. That'll go off after this year. So we do have this session to re-examine the, uh, the entire uh, funding program and I, I hope we do that. I'm, the, um, I'm on the education committee. I hope to continue there uh, on the house education. Will be an excellent position for me to uh, be able to earmark those things that'll help Londonderry get back their monies. I look at the, uh, what, how education started. It started with locals getting together and wanting their children to be taught. So they hired a teacher. They looked back into their uh, the, the reputation of what was going to be taught and there was a lot of uh, power at the local level. Right now it has gotten right out of hand. Uh, I believe the, they're, even though we're spending more money it's uh, not working out very well for the student. I believe that we should have, the, the government should get completely out of running education and leave it to, uh, and run it as a free enterprise system where uh, a parent can call a school up and say, what are you teaching? What's your curriculum? And then make choices of where they would take their child. And so there's a lot of incentive for teachers to be the best they can, not because uh, they have, um, it's a given that they have a job and no matter what they do, they're going to be protected by the unions.